In preparation for a mission to the moon, NASA developed a fly-by-wire electronic guidance system to allow pilots to control the lunar module digitally. After the system worked flawlessly for the Apollo missions, NASA's engineers began developing similar systems for an aircraft on Earth. First, what is a fly-by-wire system? It is a system that replaces the manual flight controls of an aircraft with an electronic interface. The movements of flight controls changed from manual control from the pilot to pressing a button, sending electronic signals to move the aircraft, which means the pilot has to do less work to stabilize and fly the plane. Dryden Flight Research Center, in partnership with Draper, adapted the navigation system used in the Apollo mission for a plane on Earth. This change in aircraft resulted in a digital fly-by-wire research aircraft. The program for DFBW was divided into two phases. The first phase involved a flight using only digital input. The second phase used the full system in an aircraft. The difference between a conventional FBW and a DFBW is quite significant. While an FBW system uses analog to control a plane, a DFBW system uses digital computers, allowing an aircraft to be flown by only a computer. This system essentially allows an autopilot to fly a plane. This technology has sparked a revolution in design for larger airplanes, where digital controls make complex aircraft possible. This spin-off is very important as it provides us with a method of control that does not require a person to be in the vehicle itself, but at a different place, such as a house or a technological base. The number of implementations it can be used in is nearly limitless. It has already been applied in cars and submarines, and its future is only limited by our minds. Rovers and other vehicles designed for usage in space could use a DFBW system to aid in the exploration of foreign areas of space. We can also use different materials than a wire to improve the speed, accuracy, and efficiency of such a system. Fiber optics have already been implemented into FBW systems to improve the speed of transmission. To summarize, DFBW systems can and have proven to increase the efficiency of air and space travel. I believe that this spin-off is a key component to maximizing our knowledge of the universe. And knowledge is NASA's vision. Their goal is to reach for new heights and reveal the unknown so that what they do and learn will benefit all humankind.